What was your best comeback line that left the other person totally speechless? While working at a paint store my assistant manager was giving me grief because I wanted to get off early to go take a final. She said, when I was going to school and working if there was ever a conflict between school and work, work always came first. I replied, that's probably why you're still working here. My dad was joking with my little cousin, who at the time was only eight. Dad, Pat's his right bicep you see this? This is thunder, Pat's left bicep this is lightning, you don't want to get caught in the storm. Cousin, without missing a beat, reaches up and pats my dad's head which was noticeably bald on top looks like some clouds are missing. My mother, your son is so much better behaved than you were as a child. You were horrible. Me, probably because my son has better parents. Had a friend whose girlfriend broke up with him at a party, in front of many people who stood around gawking. To really make it sting, she told him he was terrible in bed. Without missing a beat he said, just because all you ever want is anal, doesn't make me bad in bed. The look on her face is something I remember to this day. I was maybe 10 to 12, and my brother was 11 to 13 years old. This still remains my best comeback. He said something about me being fat and wearing orange and looking like a pumpkin. Me, yeah? Well you're dot tomato. Him, what's that supposed to mean? Me, nobody knows if you're a fruit or not. We were pretty sheltered kids. Not my quote, but I was with a buddy of mine who was known to be sort of a loose cannon. We're drinking at the bowling alley, and there is a family next to us, and the men are wearing turbans. My friend is of Mexican descent, and at this point he's had his fair share of beers. He turns to look at one of the men wearing the turban and he says. Hey, why do you wear that towel around your head? And without skipping a beat, the other man shoots right back with it to wipe the wet off your back. I've never seen my friend look more stunned. Even drunk, he knew that he had just been defeated. We left shortly after this. I had a cross-eyed girl call me fat in high school. I said you're just seeing double. Laughter ensued. My friend has leukemia and had to undergo chemo a year ago, and it was very apparent that he was doing it. Anyways, he was arguing with someone and ended the argument by saying, wow, that comeback was so bad it gave me cancer. Back in the late 60s I had very long hair and wore the flowery stuff that was the fashion, no onion in my belt though. Anyway, I was dating this girl whose mom hated me. After a snotty exchange I asked her what her problem with me was and she said I think you are effeminate. I replied compared to you I guess I am. I was 8 or 9 at the time. My mother and I had to pay a brief visit to my biological father's mother. My biological father refused to pay child support for years, however, once in a while he would send money to his mom so my mom and I had to travel for 4 hours to get it. Money was tight, so we just had to deal with it, and he knew it. It was one of his ways of trying to humiliate us which was ridiculous, because regardless of our financial hardship mom still raised me and took care of both of us and supported my grandparents all on her income only. In Eastern Europe during some of the worst economic times. This which had been poisoning my mom's life from way before she divorced my biological father. Her favorite was treating my mother like a piece of shit throughout her pregnancy and afterwards and telling her how it's okay I'm not my father's daughter and that him and his family would still take care of the bastard, me. Honestly, I wish we weren't related by blood but neither of us stands a chance. So, my mom and I are sitting at her table and this which pulls out a couple of big bills and gives them to me, telling me how generous she is to spare some for me. I looked her square in the eye and said, I'm sorry, but I just can't take money from a stranger. The look on her face was priceless. Mom got me ice cream on the way back. TLDR, controlling bio dad sends mom and I money for us to pick up at his mom's, four hours away from us, to humiliate us. Eight to nine year old me tells off the witch and gets ice cream.